The massive lifestyle changes we've seen over the past two years from remote work and virtual school to rotating health restrictions have changed Canadians' home buying priorities. For example, in a 2021 survey by Zucasa, 32% of buyers in Ontario reported having purchased a home further from a city centre than they would have previously considered. Of those surveyed, over two-thirds felt that COVID-19 caused suburban and small-town real estate prices to rise at an unsustainable rate. As the pandemic recedes, we're moving into transition period and seeing a more balanced market. Some buyers are returning to the city centres as they've been called back to the office, while others are still looking coast to coast for the most affordable markets to buy in. Looking at a two-year post-pandemic analysis of home prices across Canada, you might be surprised to learn the highest growth rates in home prices are not found in the cities of Vancouver and Toronto, but rather in the surrounding regions, including the Fraser Valley in BC, Hamilton Burlington, and Kitchener-Waterloo in Ontario. This is sounding alarm bells for policymakers, prompting governments and the Bank of Canada to take action to cool the real estate market and prevent the much debated possibility of a housing bubble. Some provinces have taken aim at foreign buyers, while Ottawa has put a two-year ban on foreign speculation. The 2022 federal budget also outlined new tax credits and a new tax-sheltered savings plan for first-time buyers, designed to help more people break into the competitive Canadian real estate market. 